This new LG monitor is a 49 inch behemoth. And while it looks great, how wide is too wide? Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And this is the LG 49W L95C-W. It is a 49 inch 32 to 9 aspect ratio ultra wide 5K display. Along the right hand side, you'll find two USB-A ports as well as a headphone out. Above that is a small directional pad used for turning on the display as well as navigating any on-screen menus or switching between inputs. This massive monitor is held up in the air by an anodized aluminum stand. It actually looks quite nice. We've seen some pretty janky looking stands and this one actually catches our eye. It has a knifed curved bottom and a solid pole that is all made out of anodized aluminum with a slightly gold tint to it. The monitor itself has quite a good degree of motion being able to be tilted up and down as well as moved up and down and even rotated. For a monitor this size it's pretty handy but I also don't think I want to be rotating this all too much just because it's so massive it starts to go into your wall or other things around your desk. So once you kind of find a good spot for it, it might be best to leave it somewhat in place. But we do like that the option is there. Around back you're going to find all the other ports. Now this is a USB-C monitor which means you can connect to your Mac in one cable and be done with it. But you can also use DisplayPort, HDMI which there are two of those, and there are two additional USB-A ports along the back for connecting additional peripherals. The power supply is completely integrated which means the power cord is fairly small which is really nice and you don't have a giant power brick sitting under your desk. Sitting below the monitor we have two 10 watt speakers. Not only do they sound pretty good, they're also fairly loud. We were surprised because they sounded better than we thought they would but they're still not going to pass up our actual studio monitors. Another of our favorite features is the fact that this has USB-C and will pass through power. So for our 15 inch MacBook Pro, it'll supply up to 80 watts of power to keep our machine charged while it's plugged in and not require us to have a separate power source. Now this is a 5K display. It has a horizontal resolution of 5120 and a vertical resolution of 1440. Now we have seen people out there who have struggled to get these resolutions available, usually getting stuck with that 3840 by 1080. And with a 1080 vertical resolution, it just does not look as good. But for us on a 2016 MacBook Pro, we were simply able to plug it in and immediately get that default native resolution of 5120 by 1440. And at that native resolution, this display looks pretty amazing. Now it isn't going to be as crisp as a smaller 5K display simply because there's a higher pixel density in a smaller area. But for the size, this thing looks absolutely stunning. We loved how vibrant the colors were and the resolution was pretty darn solid. With all that horizontal real estate, it worked great for timeline based apps such as working in Logic or in Final Cut. But at the same time, it is also over four feet wide and barely even fit on our desk. So what do you guys think? Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU or pick one of these things up at the link in the description. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.